joining us in round two. Heat four frames up Adrian Ace Buck and taking on Leonardo Fioravanti, the classic story of the rookie versus some of the most experienced. And well, of course, talk of skills and strength. No one serves cloud break better than Adrian Ace Buck. And obviously ebbs and flows. So Ace Buck and off to a quick start, just trying to apply the pressure to the rookie on tour, Leo Fioravanti, who, as we talked about before, is still looking for that first win so far this year. Ace, one of the smartest surfers, but right there making a little bit of a mistake, kind of taking his eye off the prize, and then Leo Ferravanti on look on a great looking wave. What's he got for us? Driving into the barrel, nice and deep there in that wave, just running away from him. So great commitment there from Leo Ferravanti. Fading off the bottom, which maybe put him a little bit too deep, then grabs the rail. Once you grab that rail, it's really hard to pump in the tube. And that wave just a little bit too quick for Leo and runs away from him. So unfortunate there for, for Leo Ferravanti. Couple 13th places there to talk about. Let's have a look and see as Ace parks it behind the curtain. Now, trimming that speed. He'll accelerate for us. High lines it, beautiful. Now let's see, he'll load the bottom turn. Knifing turn, lovely stuff. Now Ace reloading again. There'll be an inside section. He just adjusts that speed and that one runs onto the inside section pretty hard. But Ace Bucken gets some form and flow for us here for a wave number two turn in the pit it was one of those slides straight in straight into comes out second section back doors out third section over the top of him again and comes out nice and clean i love this turn as well just adding that extra point or two onto this wave so ace bucken drops the first score of substance up against uh, the rookie leonardo ferravanti he's going to apply a bit of pressure after that exchange Beautiful positioning. Look at that. Just extending the body, using his body, using the arm, that backhand, sliding through that next section. So wasn't one of those big wide open tubes, but very technical. Yep. And uh, that, that is just a little bit of an insight on, on how this guy can read waves. He knows exactly where he needs to be. The body position, the hands, the board, pumping through those section after section. Not getting too fast, not getting too carried away, just being right in the moment. And a great score there from Ace Bucken. Well, an 8.5 comes to the scorecard for a very set of technical adjustments in the tube. Now, well, having a look at Ace Bucken here, he's on the inside part of the reef, and he'll just have a little stall behind the curtain. Now he'll accelerate. Lots of technical aspects to this tube, and it'll just pinch him down. Even though Ace is not the tallest of athletes, even he can't burrow his way through that little squeeze. Let's have a look from the channel. Again, you know, he's got that technique where he's sliding straight into the barrel. Uh, you see a lot of the guys will drop down and, and sort of... As we now pick up on Leonardo Fioravanti, who's done a number of trips to Fiji. So even though he's in the rookie role here, he knows the reef. And a beautiful backdoor section. He'll adjust. He'll come out on the high line. Now, Leo does the wrap. Back into the tight section. Beautiful face ahead and he'll jam it. Lovely stuff here as he links through the inside section. Now, dangerous zone here. Can he complete for the numbers? Throws another snap and another little set of hip movements. So good number here for Leonardo Fioravanti, possibly. Nice adjustments in the tube. So good answer back here. Let's have a look at Leo's wave. Draws off the bottom. Mid-face turn. Now he grabs the rail, slows himself down, waiting for it. There's the section that he's looking for. He comes out nice and clean. So beautiful right there. Leo Ferravanti is going to answer back to that 8.0, 8.5 from Ace Bucken. Beautiful turns here to finish off. So just comboing it up, maximizing that scoring potential, not giving up on this wave. Again, another beautiful turn there and kicks on out. So Leo Ferravanti back in the heat. Good solid wave here. Late takeoff. You see him just setting it up. Now he hits the brakes, pulls in. You watch him let go right there. Just let's go to the face of the wave just to make sure he came out. You don't want to bite off more than you can chew. Obviously, that first one s slowed down too much on that occasion. Just, just absolutely right. Let's have a look at Ace's wave there. A couple of sections, a little bit longer. It's almost three sections that, that sort of really folded over the top of Ace Bucket. And then that big searing maneuver. Leo Ferravanti had the, had the better on the inside. Have one here versus five backhands. Let's have a look at this. Ace now from deep on the reef. Wow. Accelerates. And no. Won't come out. That was interesting right there. He's going to make a play here. Let's have a look. It's a little bit of a water stained uh, 
Lion is going to find a clean face. Leo still stays in the tube trim. Now, another mistake back to back. Potts, what do you see? Yeah, well, <laughs> on those two occasions, uh, both guys thrown priority away. Oh, it's competition in paradise here. As Ace is behind the curtain, it's got a little twist in it. It's going to shut him down. Wow. And down the line, Leonardo Fioravanti's jumped on the bus here. And he'll hold that together. So we'll pick up on the fullness of what Leo's offered here. But wow, full turning points in the heat from minute 12 down to minute 10 here. Yeah, nah. Well, Strider, you were watching this whole uh, two surfers on one wave thing. What did you see? That was just one. That was a pretty heavy maneuver right there for Leo to just buckle up and take off on that wave. So, you know, Ace was driving through the tube. You could see him flying, but he just had, he was really too deep. And Leo identifying it, trying to get to the shoulder, watched and watched and watched. But, you know, when he took off, Ace was just falling off behind in the foam ball. So really kind of rolling the dice on whether Ace was going to ride over the foam ball, the foam ball was going to take him down. Borderline interference. Let's have a look as he drops in, driving through that section, still going, still going, back towards that section. And then Leo on the wave. So tell you what, that was uh, a gutsy move from Leo for Alante, but identifying the fact that maybe Ace a little bit too deep. Let's have a look at from the land here as Ace takes off and drives through that first section, driving through the second section, still in the barrel, still going, and then Leo drops in on the end section. So a gutsy move from Ferravanti, but obviously he's in the right spot to, to really see how or but whether or not Ace was going to make that. That was on the edge of uh, decision-making right there, right? Because if Ace had managed to just backdoor bullet that, he has a good look behind the chamber. About five yards too far back was Ace. So a 3-9-3 here for the end section. Tube ride sees, and this wave is bowling on the reef. Let's have a look. Ace from deep oh. will accelerate, and he has just <laughs> done exactly what you mentioned, Potts, because yeah. he didn't play the patience game. No. Let's yeah. have a look at it. Okay. Leo, was Leo in the right spot for that? That was going to be a difficult barrel to make. It clamped at the end. There was no exit for both of those guys, so mistake. Now Ace has got to scrap out with one minute to go. He's looking for a 3.76 here, and he's going to hope nothing happens out the back. Inside section. Ace is working hard here. Now this wave has climbed right up onto the shelf. Let's see. Ace will roof line it. He's dump float. He'll hold it together. It's about six inches deep there right now, so we'll keep an eye on Ace. Wow, the heat is counting down. We're watching Leonardo Ferravanti. And a number's going to come in a 3.37 for Ace Bucken. It's not going to be enough, Pot. The agony and the ecstasy. Oh, wow. wow. What a showdown. It's only round two, but it is a scrap of note. But Leonardo Ferravanti breaks his 2017 curse. <laughs> and look at what that means to him. Yep. Four 25th, play, 25th place finishes, but here in Fiji it changes. And Ace's story is the complete opposite from being a finalist at the last stop. He's out in round two here in Fiji. Big disappointment for the Australian. Yeah, look at the smile on his face. He's finally cracked a win.